Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about some big time information that was released just tonight, a couple hours ago on Twitter from Footwatch regarding what is the next promotion in this game. We've all been thinking that it's team of the year. We've all been thinking wholeheartedly that, you know, always every year, beginning of January, we have the team of the year looking back at the best players from the past year inside of the real world of football, right? It's voted on the past couple of years. EA has done voting. We haven't seen any of that stuff yet, which has been confusing. But today, we got some interesting things on Twitter, and we're going to talk about what promo might be coming this Friday, because if EA right now, EA right now is putting things into the code in the game related to headliners, pack descriptions, card designs, labels, details, and stuff like that. This was tweeted out by Footwatch today. Two card designs that were put into the pack code, the headliners and the upgraded headliners card design. Now, this is very similar to last year, and we're going to talk about it. But the biggest the biggest thing with this is, this if this is being put into the code right now, either EA is doing two things, one of two things. First thing is, EA is pulling a fast one on us, right? They're putting the stuff in the code, and they're actually going to be dropping team of the year as normal, and they're just like late with the voting or whatever, and they're just trying to like literally uh, play with us here and, and mess us up and make us think that headliners is coming before team of the year. That's option number one. Option number two is, and this seems to be pretty legitimate right now, is that actually... Um, headliners is going to be coming out before team of the year. Headliners could be coming this Friday. That's almost what this seems like at the moment. Because again, once EA puts cards into the game, usually every time they do that, we see that next promo. Uh, we see that promo coming like right after. So especially with a promo like this, it's almost looking like headliners is going to be the promo this Friday. And that has major market impacts, which I'm going to get my thoughts on in a bit. But first things first, Headliners look to be different this year because, again, first thing you will notice up here is the the, the little level, right? You see, this is like they have zero games. Uh, if you guys remember, headliners get upgraded. They're one upgrade above the highest team of the week card that that player will have ever, right? So let's say right now in FIFA, we have a team of the week seven. We have Bruno Fernandez, who is an 89 rated team of the week item. He has a 90 rated team of the group stage which since this is a performance-based uh, card right here, uh, or no, it's not, that's a promo card. So uh, I guess I'm not into, entirely sure what rating a Bruno Fernandez headliner would be, possibly a 91, possibly a 90, but it's always going to say one ahead of the highest in form. So maybe the best example here is Zaha. A lot of people are thinking Zaha would be a perfect candidate for a inform or for a, uh, or a headliner card because he has two informs already. And again, the whole point, behind a headliners card is they give basically another boost to players that have been doing really well in real life that have gotten multiple informs and it's just kind of a way for players to get recognized i guess for that and the whole streak thing the winning streak is very fun too so that's why there's three notches up here at the top if a player's team wins and last year it was four games in a row if a player's club went won four games in a row in their league they would get an upgrade, another plus one boost on top of that already boosted card. Now, it looks like since there's only three little sections up here, it looks like it might only take three wins this year instead of four. But that's kind of the gist behind headliners. At the launch of the event, each foot headliner is released one inform upgrade higher than their latest qualifying performance. So that would be a team of the week, man of the match, hero, record breaker, or team of the group stage item. So technically, a Bruno would be 91 rated uh, if he did come out. So um, each time a headliner gets a performance-based inform, so any of these items right here, the headliner item will also receive an inform upgrade and stay one upgrade ahead of that highest uh, inform upgrade. So that's kind of the draw to these headliners. They are technically live and they move around a lot on the market. People go crazy for these because they are live. People have good games. They work like ones to watches in a sense where somebody scores a couple goals and people start buying that card because they think, hey, they could get in team of the week or they could get a man of the match item and that could upgrade this headliner with another inform card. So that's the number one thing. And then again, the streak um, in foot 20, it was uh, headliners will receive an additional one-time permanent upgrade if their club achieves four back-to-back -back wins 
during the remainder of the domestic season. Now, last year, we had multiple players that actually ended up doing this, and it looks like, again, if after you look at the car designs, if, if we were go to go back onto FIFA 20 and look, you could see that players, I think... Um, Lewandowski was one of the first ones to get this because Lewandowski's card, Bayern won four in a row. And you can see, man, look at these price fluctuations on level, right? Impact, 700K, went up to 800. Back down to the mid 700s in January after team of the year. Exploded, right, to 1.1 mil, dropped off a ton, uh, and then rebounded back up to 935. Then kind of COVID happened. Then games started happening again. They got their four wins in a row streak. He went from 900K to 1.2 mil. Um, I think he might have gotten another inform towards the end of the game with this 93 right here. Skyrocketed up. So, like, these headliner cards move a ton. But the biggest difference we've seen so far is that there's three games to win to get that streak, it looks like, instead of four, which is a pretty decent W. And again, last year, they went all out. This was the promotion that was right after team of the year. As you can see here, the first group of foot 20 headliners released on January 17th. This was the first promotion after team of the year. So we have a huge team of the year promo that comes, right? And then right after that, we have more insane cards and packs. Lewandowski, Neymar, Mertens, Salah, Varane, Kyle Walker, right? Very big name cards in FIFA. And this was kind of like EA's try, like backing up on Team of the Year, like the next thing after Team of the Year to try to get people to continue to spend FIFA points and open packs with a position change Neymar in the game. So this happening before Team of the Year this year has us thinking kind of along the same lines as last year, but almost in a different way. I still think they're gonna they're gonna go out all out and juice if this promo is in fact ahead of Team of the Year. They could, they could put in Messi. They could put a Messi headliner. They could put an Mbappe headliner. That's something that people have been talking about already. Because, of course, uh, I don't think Mbappe has any informs. All he has is the Record Breaker card, um, which I guess is a promo card, so it's not a performance-based inform. But EA can do whatever they want to get promo cards in this team. Mbappe isn't looking like he's going to get into Team of the Year uh, based off of where people would most likely vote unless they changed up Team of the Year. So... This could be something where they threw Mbappe into the, the headliners promotion instead of throwing him into team of the year. Uh, but since this is coming out before team of the year, that's where it gets interesting, right? With the market. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. Now, of course, it's only preliminary right now. We're not entirely sure if this is going to happen. We'll be looking out for loading screens today on Wednesday, tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, we'll talk about Thursday flipping in another video um, because I think we're, we'll talk about that in terms of how I think this maybe impacts the market a little bit then um, because I still think you're going to have a market rise after rewards. But what these headliners are going to do to the market is going to be very, very interesting because a lot of people right now in FIFA are sitting on saved up packs and their people have been going unassigned on rares because they're just preparing for team of the year and the upgrade packs and the, just the huge pack spam that team of the year is. Now, if th there's two sides of this story, right? If you're somebody who's saving packs for team of the year and you're, you know, not opening any of your packs and you're like, man, do I really have to wait even longer now to open my packs during team of the year? Cause you're not going to want to open these packs during uh, a promotion like headliners. You're going to want to open them during team of the year, which is what you were saving them for. But now you're thinking, yo, I have to exercise more self-control to hold these packs in my store before team of the year actually comes out and we have no idea really what team of the year is or when it is going to be coming unless ea drops some more information this week so it's really curious and since we have so many people have having saved up packs right now in this game i think that will mean that a lot of these uh people aren't going to be able to hold their packs some people are going to open you know let me open you know 10 packs let me open 20 packs. But what that's going to do is, since we're around team of the year, it's going to make whenever these headliner cards come into packs, they're going to be heavily supplied right away because people are going to open some of those saved up packs because they just won't be able to hold them any longer. And especially the longer we go without team of the year actually coming, people are going to get impatient. They're going to start ripping packs because they can't just hold their packs there forever. Not everybody has self-control like some of you guys may be watching this video have. Um, and I applaud you for that self-control, but a lot of people on this game probably aren't going to be able to do that. So, um, 
I'm just I'm just saying that I think if headliners do come this Friday, I do think you will see a market rise in the late portion of Friday after the lightning rounds because some people are going to open saved up packs and people are just going to be bored of not buying it. People are on this game right now are just waiting to buy the cards they want to buy. Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo, Conte, all your really meta players. People have been told to wait until team of the year to buy those cards because of all the content that comes out, all the packs that are opened, stuff like that. And now we're sitting here seeing that team of the year might not be coming right now and maybe even not in the next week or two. So that's making people think, why don't I just go buy those cards right now? Which I think is going to make some of the market go up this week. Maybe a little bit, not a crazy high amount, but you might see cards that hadn't gone up in the past couple of weeks because people were waiting to buy them. Um, you might see them go up this week because people are just getting, they can't wait any longer. They just want to buy the cards for their team that they wanted to buy and cards are still pretty, pretty low to begin with. Now we didn't get any content yesterday on Tuesday. So the market did rise a little bit. And again, we'll talk about Thursday flipping in another video here really soon on the channel. But I did want to make this video today to share with you guys um, what I think this means for the market and what I think this means for headliners, man, because this is big. This is huge. Honestly, this has massive implications for the game itself because so many people look for team of the year is like the biggest promotion on this game. Team of the year and team of the season are the two biggest times in terms of the cards that come out into packs with the highest rating at the time of the year, especially the card designs, all the content that comes out with it. It's around the new year uh, where people are just getting the game for the first time. And team of the year is ultimately a time where people like full send it for the game as well because they're like done playing FIFA after team of the year. So that's why not having any information on what is going to be happening for team of the year is really crazy right now. And now seeing that a new car design is being added to the code and headliners might be coming before team of the year, unless EA is just pulling our legs here and we're all going to look crazy for having this much panic, I guess, or not really market panic, but just thinking in our minds is team of the year not coming. If EA is just messing with us, then they're laughing really hard right now. But we don't have any information on team of the year. So I think uh, it's very valid to think this is coming on Friday. So that's kind of the crazy stuff that's going on right now. If you if you do want to read up on headliners, I'll leave the link to this in the description of this video so that you can find it there. Um, and yeah, there's not really panic selling that's going on on the market right now, to be completely honest. And hopefully we see a loading screen today. Because honestly, why would you panic sell, right? If you know if you know team of the year is not coming for at least another week, if this promo is coming, some people might go out and buy cards. You might see the market actually go up because people will be buying cards that would, um, you know, people will, might feel more free to spend their coins because they know team of the year is not coming just yet. So that's kind of where we're at right now in this game. We'll talk about more implications of what t uh, what headliners could do to the market if we get a loading screen, if we get any more information in the following days this week. But I wanted to make this video because that t uh, this code from Footwatch is crazy. Like I was not expecting. I saw them tweet something out earlier this week about um, about team of the year or sorry about the um, headliners, and I was kind of like, okay, that's kind of crazy. But now they're actually tweeting out legit code, which is very interesting. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully a loading screen today. Hopefully a little bit of information from EA Sports. Some communication would be fantastic as always. But if you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, well, if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up. But if you have any questions, drop them down below, man. I'm just as curious as you guys are. I don't know what EA is doing here. They're throwing us for a loop. We're going to have to see what happens. If you're new around here, subscribe as well. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.